new videos every day. The last video I just did, we talked about fast food restaurants. So the average American eats out four times a week. So because you watched the video and you're informed now, you decide to eat a little bit healthier. So you're going to go spend a little bit more money and eat at the, you know, sit down full service restaurant. You may think you're eating healthier, but that's not necessarily the case. Check this out. Now, I think everybody knows that fast food is bad for you. And even if you still are going to choose to eat that food, you know it's bad. But I think a lot of people have the misconception that going to a sit-down, full-service restaurant is going to be better. Well, the national restaurants that we're going to be talking about, these are chains, on their menus, some of these items are way worse than you would ever expect. I mean, some of these items literally could be worse than the McDonald's value meal. Now to put this in perspective, I want to tell you what the requirements are for a male and female. Men, uh, you need 2,400 calories a day. Now that is an average, so it will vary a little bit based on your height, weight, and age. But 2,400 calories average per day, a maximum of 80 grams of total fat, and a maximum of 26 grams of saturated fat. Now a woman is lower, the average is 1800 calories per day, a maximum of 60 grams of total fat, and a maximum of 20 grams of saturated fat. Now these numbers are only if you're maintaining your weight, so if you're trying to lose weight, these are gonna be lower. Now if you have any questions, about what you know what protein is what carbohydrates are and you're confused or you know have questions I did have another video called understanding food and that'll explain it in more detail so what kind of restaurants and what kind of foods are we talking about well let's find out Romano's macaroni grill they have an item called twice baked lasagna with meatballs it packs 1,360 calories and 3,900 milligrams of sodium. Now, the sodium that you need in a day is 2,400 milligrams. So in this one entree, you are getting more than, you know, almost double what you need. So, you know, wonder high blood pressure is such a common problem. And then not only that, this item is equivalent to five pork chops and the fat in two McDonald's Big Macs. Cheesecake Factory. Now a lot of people like to go there to get dessert. Well they have lots of options. So say you're out with some friends and they're getting cheesecake and you want to you know choose a little bit healthier option so you go for the carrot cake. Well their carrot cake, one slice, weighs one pound and packs 1560 calories. And one slice of carrot cake. All that you know icing and all that sugar and all that fat crammed into that one slice of cake so you think you're going to go out and have a little splurge and then you know little do you realize that it's not only a little splurge it's almost all your day's worth of calories ruby tuesdays they have an item on their menu called the fresh chicken and broccoli pasta it's covered in cheese it has a total of 2060 calories now, if you're a woman, that is 200 more calories than you need in your whole day. And if you're a man trying to lose weight, that's definitely more than you need as well. Not only that, this is equivalent, to put it in perspective, two 12-ounce steaks, two Caesar salads, and two buttered baked potatoes. On the border, this is a Mexican food restaurant national chain. It has an item on their menu called the Double Stacked Club Quesadillas. This has 1,820 calories, 52 grams of saturated fat, no, that's not total fat, that's saturated fat, and 3,400 milligrams of sodium. So if you're a woman and you're just trying to maintain your weight, you've already get, gotten all you need in calories, and that's not including a margarita that you had, any appetizers, chips and salsa, any dessert you're eating. I mean, that is it right there in that entree. So... If you're going to get this at a restaurant, it's going to be really easy to gain weight. Now, we can't forget about the Chinese food. P.F. Chang's has pork lo mein. It has 1,820 calories and 127 grams of total fat. That's equivalent to a stick and a half of butter. 
You can just see yourself, you know, cramming a stick and a half of butter down your throat. That is not the kind of thing you want to be eating if you're trying to lose weight. Now, I want to give you some quick tips so that when you are at a restaurant, you can make some better choices. Number one, ask if your meal can be cooked in a different oil. A lot of times they're using um, saturated fat oils that just aren't good for you. And if you ask for palm olive oil or any healthier oils that they may have on hand, that's going to be the better choice. And then a lot of times they don't even have to cook in a fat. So if they have nonstick pans in the kitchen, you can ask them and, and see if their your menu item can be cooked without you know any butter or oil. Number two is split your meal or get it bagged before they bring the meal out. That way you're not tempted to overeat or you know gorge yourself when you're already full. And then number three, regardless of what it is, if it comes with a sauce, just get it on the side. If it's a salad or an entree, I do that. And I I find that when when I get it on the side, I will use less of the sauce. And then of course I'm getting less calories and it tastes the same, it's great, it's fabulous, but then I'm not, you know, my food's not drowning in the sauce. So there's some quick tips. Now the purpose of this video isn't to bash or put all the blame on these restaurants because nowadays most of these restaurants do have healthier options that you can choose from. And the point of this video is to tell you that you have to pay attention to what you are ordering and what you are eating. Because if you are overweight or you do have health problems and you haven't been paying attention to what you've been eating or how much you've been eating, that is actually what got you there in the first place. So I know you're trying to eat because you want to get full and you want something that tastes good and you're hungry and you know maybe you're finding foods that fill you up but then in a few hours you get hungry again and so you're getting all these extra calories, you're gaining weight and you don't know what to do about it because your purpose is to get full and not be hungry. Well, I'm going to make a video talking about that very subject, hunger and why people uh, get more hungry than they should and what we can do to keep that from happening. That's coming out soon, so subscribe so that you know when that hits the pages. And I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourself. Bye.